Good morning, everyone. It was good to see so many of you at yesterday's lunch. I had some technical dif difficulties, so I couldn't speak, and my video was kind of sketchy in and out. Um, but I was able to see many of you there, and it was good to hear your voices and hear some of the things that you are doing. Today, for our lesson, we are going to be doing a friendly letter. Um, I wrote a, friend, a friendly letter to Miss Romy, and I'd love to see your friendly letters to a friend or a family member. And it could be somebody in your home. It doesn't have to be a mailed letter. Um, it could be a mailed letter to a grandparent or to someone that lives in a different city or a different part of the town. You could even do it to a class, um, to someone in our class, and then have them write you back a friendly letter. That might be kind of fun. Just a thought. Um, so it could be to lots of different people. But today I wrote a friendly letter to um, my friend, Miss Romy. And um, I already wrote my letter, but I wanted to go over the different parts of a friendly letter just so you can kind of make sure to get those parts to it. And you might have already done this, so it might just be a practice exercise for you to do today or over the next couple of days. So uh, a friendly letter is a letter that it's like a conversation. You ask a question, you get a response, or you give a response and then you ask a question to get some more information from your friend. But there's some important parts to a friendly letter, and we're going to go over those in just a second. But um, so the letter, I wanted to kind of preface of what my letter is about. This last weekend, I went to Utah to visit my daughter. She graduated from a university up in Utah, and we were kept our social distancing as much as possible. Um, we washed our hands and we did all the protocols that we normally did. So everybody came back, was healthy in Utah and everybody came back healthy in Utah. And we're going to continue doing our social isolating, um, just like we should be doing. So I wanted to preface that first. So my friendly letter to Miss Romy. Okay. This is my letter to Miss Romy. Um, I dated it for today. Um, it says, dear Romy. I had a great time in Utah with my family. We went on a really steep hike called the G-Hike. When we got to the end of the trail, the view was amazing of the valley below. What activities do you enjoy doing with your family? Maybe we could go on a hike when the weather is cooler. I miss you and the time we spent together at school. Your friend, Jennifer. Okay, there's some parts to a letter that are important. And so I'm gonna go over the body of the letter. The first thing that you need to do is you need to put the date. And that's important because um, you want to have some time reference to your letter. So if I had dated it or didn't date it, um, my friend Romy wouldn't know when I went on my hike or what time of year I went on my hike. She might have thought I went on a hike in December or I went one in August but now she knows I went on a hike with my family around April 30th. The next thing we want to do is you want to write a greeting and when you write a greeting um, you want to make sure that you write dear and then the first name of your friend and then you want to make sure to write a comma. And that kind of just separates it from the body of the letter. The next part is you want to have a body. And in your body, um, you're going to be describing of something that you did. You're going to have a statement. Maybe tell us what you did. And then your experience about what you did. And it could be anything. It could be about... It could really be about anything. Something that you had in an activity with your family. Um, maybe you went to a trampoline, you know, did trampoline or swimming. Um, lots of different things that you could be doing. Maybe an art project, something that you, it could really be anything. A movie you watched, your favorite part, anything. Then I asked Miss Romy a question as part of my body. I asked her a question and then I asked, you know, made a suggestion, and then I um, ended my letter um, with, I miss you. It could be, and you could um, 
do a gratitude, like a thank you, or I'm so glad we're friends. But um, I did it, applied it to how I was feeling and, um, and with an ending of that. The last part you want to do is your closing, about how you're going to close it. Now, closing, you can do it lots of different ways. Um, if it was a letter, a friendly letter where you were thanking the person for something, you could say, you could write, thank you. You could write, take care. Um, you could write best wishes. If it was during the holidays, you could write it, um, lots of different ways. And, um, or regards more formally would be like sincerely. Um, I know a lot of letters can and even end from, but if you're writing, writing a friendly letter, you really want to write it with a little bit more something than just from, um, and the, from the examples that I gave. And then the last thing part of, um, a friendly letter would be your signature. And usually that signature would be in cursive. It doesn't have to be. Um, if you're not um, confident in your cursive, but if you are confident in your cursive, you may do that, or you may practice even your cursive. Um, after your closing, you're going to want to also do a comma. And it's the same reason why you would do a comma up here. It just separates it from the signature. Okay, so that's basically the body of a friendly letter. There's some other points that you might want to consider. So I want you to notice that down the center of my letter, it's all centered. I have my dear Romy on this side. I have my date on this side. My letter is all centered down middle and then on this side my closing is on this side the same side as my date and my signature maybe I can make that a little darker so you're gonna center your letter down the middle where one side has one part and the other there are a few other points too that you want to do because you want your letter to be organized you're gonna want to have to skip some lines. So notice that I skipped a line between my date and my greeting. I also skipped a line between Dear Romy and the bottom, the greeting and the body of the letter. After I did that, I wanted to make sure to indent, whoop, indent my paragraph and have it go in. And usually it's like, um, you're going to be doing like one or two fingers. So if you took your finger and you indented it one, the next, if you can notice, I also skipped a line between my paragraphs. So it'd just be neat and organized that they could sh see from one paragraph to the other. And even if they wanted to go back, they could read the whole paragraph, you know, um, and the other, so the kids see that. My next paragraph, every paragraph you're going to be indenting. And then I skipped a line with between my par my body of my paragraph and my closing, and then I skipped a line from my closing to my signature. So this is what um, a friendly letter is gener genu generally um, formed. So I would love to see some of your letters um, talking a little bit about editing and rough draft. This would, of course, would be my final copy. Now that I marked it up, I might need to rewrite it to before I sent it to Romy, but um, this is just our example. But So I'll rewrite it and I'll send it to Romy and maybe she will respond back. That might be kind of fun. But I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a rough copy. Now, this was not my first copy. 
This was my first copy. I made some mistakes. I had a type, I wrote hiked instead of hike. Um, I didn't like my wording. I said, what activities do you like to do with your family? I changed that to what activities do you enjoy doing with your family? And then I kind of changed my ending. I said, I miss you um, and spending time together. I changed that because I wanted to add at school. I said, I miss you and, and the time we spend together at school. But then I noticed I changed the wrong tense of the word spent and I changed it to spent in my letter. So there will be, I suggest that you write your rough draft of your letter just to make sure that you are, your spelling is correct. Um, maybe have your parents check over it or older brother or sister check over it. Make sure you have everything that you want to say. Um, in the way that you want to say it, and then you can rewrite it in pen. Um, just so it's, you know, nice and neat, so it's legible, um, so that your friend can read it easily and um, be able to answer your questions. So my, I encourage everybody to write a friendly letter for this week's activity. I will send a template. You do not need to use that template. You can use lined paper. You can use um, straight you can use lined paper, you can use copy paper. Um, one thing I did want to add is you can add a picture to your uh, friendly letter. I'm going to actually, when I do it, I'm going to send a picture of the view that we had, the amazing view. So if you're talking about, you can draw a picture of when you were doing your activity with your family, or you can take a picture of what it is. Um, that you did. So I'm going to actually attach or send a picture with my um, view of the amazing view that we saw. I am looking forward to seeing everybody's letters.